Hey guys, it's Jane. It's Friday today, so I'm here for Friday Reads. I finished two books this past week. I finished Brushback by Sarah Poretsky, which is number 17 in the V.I. Warshawski series. I really enjoyed uh, this one. It's a one of those sorts of stories where things start and they kind of grow and grow and grow and grow. So uh, V.I. is a private detective who works in Chicago. She grew up in Chicago from an immigrant family. Her father was Polish. Her mother was Italian Jewish. They grew up in a very tight-knit neighborhood um, of other immigrant families and um, when she was a late teen um, a, the family across the street who her family were very you know oddly connected with um, had a tragedy and the daughter of that family was murdered the mother was sent to prison. 25 years have passed. She served her sentence and she's out and now she's seeking exoneration. The son of the family, the brother of the girl that died, who had for a while been Vic's boyfriend, comes to her and asks her to look into it. Now, this woman was always a bit of a loose cannon and always um, violent, physically violent, and also hated hated Vic's mum with a passion so Vic really needs to be sweet talk but against her better judgment she agrees to look into it and the minute she sort of starts asking questions it just it's like a bomb has gone off all sorts of strange things start happening the mother is absolutely absolutely off her head angry that her son has asked Vic to look into this then she appears in the media saying that she has found a diary of her daughter that had never come to light earlier um, but the what's in the diary suggests that um, she was actually having the daughter was having uh, a relationship with Vic's cousin um, Boom Boom Warshawski who grew up to be a famous ice hockey player uh, he's now dead and can't defend himself um, but yes she is now you know pointing the finger at Boom Boom um, and saying that he was probably the one that was behind uh, her daughter's death and of course that just ticks off everything in Vic's head as well as the story progresses it's not just about this murder there's a whole bunch of other stuff that have dodgy stuff that has gone on in that neighborhood over the years and is continuing to go on um, also stuff about sports so there's the ice hockey stuff that gets pulled in there's also baseball um, because another one of the characters um, was involved in baseball back in the day and yeah it grows and grows and grows and grows and grows and um, was really tense we do finally get to the end and everybody everybody's basically okay at the end but it's it's a wild ride I really enjoyed this one um, I love Sarah Pretzky's books I know they're not for everybody but um, I, I think she's she's really got it down to a fine art now after 17 books you hope that you know you'd be getting there um, you do not absolutely do not need to start this at the beginning of the series they're always written with enough character information and stuff to introduce you for a new reader they really do read like standalones most of them so um, if that sounds at all interesting to you I'd encourage you to pick up in fact I had a really strange experience with this one because as I was reading along I've been reading these for like I don't know since I was about 20 I, I found the I got on to so Pretzky and so I've been reading them like my whole adult life and when I started reading them Vic was older than me and I suddenly realized during reading this one that I am now older than Vic so something a bit odd has happened with the timeline but <laughs> that's okay the other book that I finished this week was Alice Pung's Unpolished Gem, which is a memoir of her early life in Australia. She was born in Australia, but her mother arrived heavily pregnant from overseas as a refugee from Cambodia. They're Chinese, but they were in Cambodia for a while. And the story is all about coming to Australia with virtually nothing um, and experiencing life in Australia and then from Alice so a lot of it is talking about her older older members of the family but they also the second half of the story is focuses more on Alice and her experience 
um, of life in Australia. Um, and it sort of finishes the the goes up until the point where she university. So she her first boyfriend at university, and then it sort of goes through that relationship and takes it to the end. Um, so I don't know, she's maybe 20 at the end of the book. Um, lots of the pull quotes that I read that were on the book and stuff like that were all about how funny it was and there was a laugh on every page and I think that was a little bit misleading. There, There's certainly a light touch in this um, story and moments of humour but it's not roll around on the floor funny <laughs> um, and that's kind of not surprising really given the subject matter. So... Um, if you are interested in uh, coming-of-age stories and maybe in particular immigrant stories, it's beautifully written. Um, and, um, yeah, I got a lot out of it in particular because lots of the places and things like that are places that I'm familiar with close by where I live. Um, but for anybody, um, it was really well written and, of course, lots of really interesting stuff about culture clashes and things like that in it so yeah unpolished gem by alice pung in my last week's video i talked about the fact that i had a book waiting for me at the library and i didn't know what it was when i went and found it it was this one castle waiting which is a graphic novel um i was put onto this i'm going to do a shout out to literally graphic uh, who was a relatively new uh, booktuber and she talked about this in one of her um, Top 5 Wednesday videos. Um, I'm, I'm about, I don't know, not quite halfway through. I'm really enjoying it. So um, what the story is, is it starts with a fairy tale retelling. So the first couple of chapters, it's retelling um, Sleeping Beauty and then it gets to the point where, you know, the prince comes and whatever and the castle is awakened and stuff. And then they ride off, the prince and princess ride off into the sunset to live happily ever after. And the story stays with what the people that are left behind, the people at the castle who are left behind. And that's sort of the jumping off point for the rest of the story. Um, and... It's, yeah, um, I'm really enjoying it. The artwork is beautiful. It's not... It's just line work, not colour work, but it's really beautifully drawn and the story is amazing. So um, Linda Medley is the um, author and artist and um, I'm really enjoying this and when I finish it I will be happy to do a proper review of that. I've also been reading The System of the World by Neil Stevenson, which is the final of the Baroque cycle and I've kind of been going slow on purpose because I kind of don't want it to be over. Um, but, yeah, I've been enjoying that as well. Um, and in other books that I have got for this weekend, once I've got those two finished, this is the one that I am reading for my In Real Life book club this month. So I've got to get this read in the next week or so. The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Um, everybody and their dog on BookTube has already read this, I think. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it a try. That's what I am up to at the moment. We are having the weirdest weather at the moment. We've It's been um, sunny and hot for the last couple of weeks. And then all of a sudden yesterday it was just we had rain all day. It was like proper storm. Like we had tornado warnings. I have never in my life in Melbourne had a tornado warning before. Um, and it's all strange and overcast again today, but no rain. And I don't know whether that storm front has passed us by or um, whether it's, you know, pausing momentarily about to come back. But anyway, it's all a bit odd and um that's kind of important because it's actually my kiddo's school fate this afternoon so if the rain comes down i'm not 100 percent certain quite what's going to happen but whatever happens happens we'll be fine um i'd love to hear what you guys are reading and if you've read any of these books that i've talked about i'd love to hear what you think of them i hope you're all well and i'll talk to you later bye